Hello folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, it's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor here. I'm just going to wait for a few more uh, seconds for more people to join in. All right, people are trooping in. People are trooping in. Fantastic. Thank you very, very much for tuning in, guys. Uh, it's Waka Waka Doctor here. Always bring you the best gist when it comes to moving abroad. Today, I've got another opportunity I want to share with you. Another amazing opportunity um, if you're looking to move abroad. Thank you for joining from all around the world because you know that I never miss. I never miss. I share what is hot. I share what is fantastic and amazing. Um, if you're looking to move to different countries, all you need to do is go on my YouTube channel and you would see amazing opportunities. Whether you're looking for jobs, whether you're looking to move abroad as a student, any country that's on your mind, you would find videos that I've done for it as well. Okay, today we're talking about France. I'm not talking about Finland. I'm not talking about Hungary. I'm not talking about any con other country because I have videos that I've, you know, I've done specifically for those. Today, I am talking about France. Moving to France, okay? And like I always do, um, so that you don't say that, oh, it is Waka Waka Doctor that is sharing these things. It is manufacturing. No, I usually would bring people who live in these countries to come and share how they did it. So today I've got a friend who lives in France and she will come and share with you how she did it, how she can help you, and you have the opportunity to ask questions as well. Is that okay? So let me bring her up straight away. We're talking about France today. We're talking France. We're talking France. This is going to be amazing. Um, people are asking, what is my YouTube channel name? What's, what's my YouTube channel name going to be? It's Waka Waka Doctor, of course. Hello. Hey, Hi. how are you? Good I'm good. I'm amazing. I didn't even know that you already approved it. No, 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 no. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for taking our time to um, share this amazing opportunity with us. Um, and I know that we, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to go right into it so we can get this um, started, okay? Um, do you want to share? Do you want to share with us? Introduce yourself so that everybody knows knows who you are. Tell us who you are, sure, where you sure. are, what you, what you <laughs> Hello, do. Hello, everyone. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Enare, and I'm Nigerian, currently based in Paris, and I'm doing an MBA course here. But I manage my business full time, Instago Air Travels, which we would be helping you with Waka Waka Doctor now to come over to Paris. Are you with me? <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah, she, she's volunteered to help um, as many people as possible achieve their goals by coming uh, to France. Tell us, how is France? How is France for you? Do you speak French now? Huh? Uh, I probably don't. <laughs> I speak a little. I speak a uh, of course, French is a very complicated language, so bear with me here. I'm trying. You're trying, you're trying. <laughs> tu parles français un peu, hein? Oui, je parle français. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, now talk to us. Um, we know that the easiest way to move abroad is going as a student. <laughs> that is the easiest way, okay? Yeah. And you are, you are currently doing your, your master's in business administration in, pa in, in, in Paris, in France. Um, talk to us. What is it like getting admission in France? What is the process? What is the requirement? Or what are the requirements? Okay, so basically, you have to understand that your course of choice is what determines like the provisions that you make. For instance, if you studied in French as an um, undergraduate level, then if you're going to go through the French um, route of applying for these studies, you would need a specific um, certificate like DELF, like a French speaking certificate to apply. But if you studied in the French um, institution for your bachelor's, then you're going to need IELTS or TOEFL. Sometimes that is not necessary if you can prove to them that you studied in English, if you're an international student. Okay. So, of course... Let me say that again. So, if you, if you studied in French, yeah. for those maybe in um, Benin Republic, yeah. Cameroon, Togo, in yes. French speaking countries, you need to you provide a French. You need to provide a French. <laughs> you need to provide a certificate that yes, says you, you studied to... in French. 
But if yes. you studied in English, in English, you need to show IELTS or you need to show to them that you understand English. So basically, it's not about what you did, it's about what you are going to do. So you said, but it's, but it's about, IELTS is compulsory. It is not necessarily compulsory. If you can prove to the school that you made your your um, bachelor's or whichever degree you already have in English. So you need to provide maybe like a letter of um, a letter of English proficiency exactly. that you studied in English. Okay. Exactly. And, and then, exactly. Okay. So what else? What else are the requirements that you need? And tell us the process of getting admission. Like we all know, the bachelors and the masters have different requirements. But for starters, you need to make sure that you have passed the preliminary stage before the next stage. So you need to make sure that you have at least five credits. You need to make sure you have SOP. You need to make sure that you have enough funds. Of course, that is for the visa stage. You need to make sure that you have um, your transcripts ready. Some schools would request that you send this transcript directly from your previous school. Other schools, if you have the, trans the transcripts handy, you can send it directly to your schools of choice. So it's it's basically the normal process, but you have to know that for schools, the specific schools that you choose to go, go with actually determines the process of getting these admissions. And, and I, 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 when we spoke, I know this for a fact, mm -hmm. but it's always good for people to hear it from someone who lives in exactly. France, who schools exactly. in France that tuition in france is as low as even 100 and something tell us is that true <laughs> actually it depends most of the schools here are very low if you studied in french for your background mm -hmm. but if you're an international student coming to study in france you have to make sure that you have um specific it can be more sometimes some schools can be as low as 300 can be 500 can be 400 it all depends on the school but for international students who come to study like um, MBA course or professional courses, it's so expensive. It can be as high as 15,000, 20,000, even 30,000 euros. So it, it basically depends on the course you're studying. If you want to study a big course like MBA, it's going to be expensive. But if it's, if it's, if it's, um, if there are other courses you want to study, then it's as low as 300, you're saying. Yes, definitely. Is there, definitely. Is, there a, is there a central website? to apply for admission or you need to go through the school portals? I mean, there's there, there's different approach to it. Like um, for the France level or for the France route, most of the time you have to go through Campus France. If you go through Campus France portal, you find all the institutions and you apply through Campus France. Other times you would have to go directly to the school and apply through the school. So whichever process that you, you know, use, you would need to provide the set requirement that the school have set so you can go through different platforms if you're going to google and even search for like schools in france you can find a different plat platform that will lead you to the schools mm -hmm. but most importantly you need to make sure that you have the documents that is requested regardless of the platform that you apply to so i mean um there are so many schools in france correct so many <laughs> there are so, so many, many so schools many, in so france, many schools I in france. Know all of them <laughs> So I many, so many schools in France. Just, just I, I, I know, I know that um, University of Rennes, University of Paris Saclay, uh -huh. University of Sorbonne. You know, I know that those are cheap public universities where you can study um, for that low. Are yes. there scholarship opportunities in France as well? Yes, there are, there are lots of scholarship opportunities, but most um, for the France government, the ones that are for internationals is like Eiffel Tower International Scholarship. You also have like um, other scholarship from the government. But in different countries, the France invest, um, some companies invest in studying abroad. For France, for instance, in Nigeria, we have the PTDF. We have other scholarship opportunities in other countries. It might not be um, specifically like PTDF, but you can find other schools, other companies that are sponsoring people to study for free. They even go as far as paying your flight and everything. It's just about mm -hmm. getting the right information. Amazing. So did you, you wanted to tell us some of the schools, eh? some of the schools yes. in France? Just like the schools that you've mentioned, Paris Sorbonne, but the school that I go to is a private school. It's called EMLV Business School. So it's really expensive for an MBA is like 30K, but it's <laughs> but it's like if you want to look through that, you can. But the cheap schools are the public schools. So if you want to go for the public schools, you can look at I wrote down some, so we're gonna call them for you. You can look at um, University Orleans, you can look at Nantes University, 
You can look at Strasbourg University. You can look at um, Central de Leon School. You can also look at Montpellier, but that is in a different city. It's a city called Montpellier. So another advice that I would give for people who wanna that I would give to people who wanna travel to France, you should prioritize going to a smaller city before mm -hmm. you move to the big city. I feel like that is one of the mistakes that I make. Although I love Paris versus it's not. It's for so the smaller the smaller cities are, are less expensive, yeah. Yes. The smaller cities are more are less expensive. The smaller cities are easy to navigate through. You find the people a lot more nicer than you know <laughs> than the big cities. So the big cities all about the hustle and the bustle. If you are in Nigeria and you live in Lagos, um, then you would you know you would resonate more with Paris because it's kind of like that Lagos busy jiggy vibe. But if you want to go to like let's say a calm place if you're like a very low-key person it's better you just go to the suburbs or the south somewhere really quiet and just be there so you, you you said clearly that if you want to get admission in france um there are two ways to go about it it's either you go online google campus france go to the campus france website and then you'll be able to get um, a list of, you know, universities and you can apply through the Campus France website yes. or you go through the university website itself and, you know, apply through those um, public schools. And you mentioned University of Nantes, University mm -hmm. of Sorbonne, uh, Paris Saclay University, mm -hmm. amongst, amongst others. Fantastic. Um, is it possible to work? If yes, how many hours can you work? Okay. Um, so can you move with family? Things like that. Okay, yeah. So basically, um, when you're studying, because most of the most of the study pattern in France gives you an opportunity to work for a specific period of time. So let's say, for instance, you are studying a one year course. Most of the master's program will require you to work for six months and then study for six months. So it's kind of like a work study program in France, mostly. So as a student, while you're studying, you have 20 hours to work. But when you're not studying, when you have the full time to do like an internship or a program, you have 40 hours full time to work. So it all depends on the session and it all depends on um, the school, um, should I say, um, <laughs> I'm trying to, it all depends on the school schedule and curriculum year, that's the word. It depends on the curriculum. For my, for my school, it's kind of the same thing, six months in campus and six months on a job. Okay. And people who want to move with their family, how would they go about it? Um, just like most of the European countries, if you're going to move with your family, the first thing you have to put into consideration is that you're not going to go with your family at once. You can go first and then your family comes as a dependent, but that is only when you're studying as a student. So you have to go first and then you get an invite mm -hmm. for your family to join you. But you cannot go at the same time with your family. Okay, so you cannot go you cannot go at the same time with your family you have to go first and yeah. then they will come and join you um, yes how old i mean is there any age limit um there is no age you, no age as limit far, as far as i'm concerned there is no as far as we know <laughs> there is no age limit right now so when anybody study, can study, when study yeah. okay Okay. Yeah. I'm going to throw you this question point blank. I know that you're okay. in France. I know that you're busy, but I know that you run a business oh, as well. Of course, um, of are you happy to help people um, who want who want to who want you to help them get admission in France? If yes, how can they contact you? Okay. Okay. So basically, of course, I'm happy. Traveling is what I love doing, and I want to encourage more people to travel. If it's for work, if it's for school, if it's for anything, even if you want a tour, even if you just want to visit France and go back to your country, I encourage people to travel because it's another form of education. If you don't travel, you've only seen a part of the world, and trust me, it is so big out there. So yes, I love helping people to travel. And how you can contact me is by clicking on the link in my bio or clicking on my business link and then you select a package that aligns with you. Currently, for this France um, movement, you can book a comprehensive package to skip all the hassle. It's about $220. Um, I think that is, uh, this exchange rate is, but it's almost, I think, equivalent of 200,000 in Naira. If you want us to assist you with this package, you just have to go to the platform, you book, and then we help you through the package. But you have to read all the requirements before you do that. Okay, so 
can they send you DMs on your Instagram page, um, on, on this page, um, Petit, Petit Nari? Can they send you messages? Okay, you, you can send me messages, but I don't promise that I'm going to respond to your messages on time because I have a lot of messages in my DM. But I would advise that you send a message to the DM of the business account because then what, have... what, is, what, is your, what is your business account? Instagram at Travel it is on my bio um i don't know if i can okay. write it here okay so it's insta go let me just insta just go add travels okay okay there you go insta go add travels yeah okay so insta go is i n s t a d o e d and then That's travels correct. insta go Ed travel so that is correct. if people want you to help them move to france they can send you a dm on that yes, um yes, on that email so okay uh let's let's do a quick let's do a quick rundown okay, okay you, okay. you've said you said that in france they teach in english people can come to france mm -hmm. and study in english of course depending on the cost they want to study it can be as low as 176 euros to about Twenty thousand euros, even. Yeah. Um, the public schools are the cheaper ones. Exactly. And you said the one, the schools that are in the smaller cities are the ones that are not expensive. Mm -hmm. You've said that if you studied um from a French university, you need to submit, um, you need to submit so, documents that show that you studied in French. It's not about in, where. It's not about where you studied from. It's about what you're going to study when you transition. So, it's, so if, if, it's, if it's, you're going to study tricky. in French. It's tricky when you think about it this way. Like, I already speak French. So why do I have to show a certificate that I speak French? When you think about it that way, you mess it up. So what you should be thinking is that I'm going to study in French. So how can these people trust that I can study in French? And that is why you need to provide the certificate so they can trust that you can study in French okay amazing and you need your international passports you need your transcripts of course you need your statement of purpose can you help people draft statement of purpose if they of want of course we can we can you do need, that we have statement of, we have statement of purpose we have an all-in-one comprehensive um administrative package for people who want to do visa processing statement of purpose anything that has to do with documentation we have that in our service list so you can leverage that to move abroad okay so um and i need to ask you people are asking this question what about those with higher national diploma would they be able to go to france with a higher national diploma i think it, it all depends on the school it, it's not um written on stone so basically you have to go through the school requirements and there's some schools that of course accept that however we can do a cohort with you because we also offer educational courses that gives you like changes your degree to like a bsc degree it's like a short three months six months course so if you have a degree like that you can talk to a consultant and then they will recommend the courses that you have to do and then we give you a certificate from a school that approves that you have the skills to move on with a master's degree with respect to applying for visas i know that a lot of countries require proof of funds yeah how much is the proof of funds that you need okay with, with the exchange rate right now it's uh, it's kind of so just tell us just tell us but, the amount in euros just tell us the amount in euros. Okay. In euros, you need a minimum of 5,000 euros and a maximum. It can be more than 10,000. It can be, but I would say that to be on the safe side, you need at least 10,000 euro in your account mm -hmm. to prove that you can take care of yourself at least for the first six months on arrival in France. Okay, 10,000 euros. What about those with 2-2? Two -two? Mm -hmm. Second class lower, would they, be, would they have the opportunity yes. to also yes. apply for France? Yes. There are options for people who graduate with second class lower, so it's not a problem. Another option that you can take is to do the cohort course and just upgrade your degree. But if you find, of course, it's going to be harder for you than someone who has all the requirements and has a good grade. But that is not a discouragement. For sure, you're going to find a placement with your degree. All right. So she has also told us that you can apply on your own if you want. Just simply go on Google and type Campus France and you'll be able to apply to as many universities as possible using the Campus France website. Another thing you can do is she's called a list of universities. You can go directly to the universities and look for the course that, you know, that's, that's affordable, that you can afford, and um, that is in line with what you studied in your bachelor's and applied. She mentioned the University of Montpellier. She mentioned um, Sorbonne University. I'll put a list of universities 
in the description box of this video that you can go check on your own and apply on your own but if you want someone to help you hold you by the hand guide you help you with the admission process you can simply just go on instagram and look for instago ed travels um instago is i-n-s-t-a-g-o-e-d travels t-r-a-v-e-l-s um got a couple of questions okay um is ielts compulsory so that is what I'm, I'm looking at from the comments. It is not, like I said, it's about what you're going to do in the country, mm -hmm. not what you have done. So all you have to do is prove to the school that you speak English. So if you're going to study in English and they require you to prove that you can study in English, all you have to do is tell them that, give them a certificate. Sometimes you can get it from your school. Sometimes you can write it as a request. You can even send it to their email that I'm an English speaking student and I'm going to be studying in English. I did all my degrees in English and I want the IELTS or the TOEFL to be waived for me. And you're going to do this. Some schools will give you an English test on arrival that you have to take before you begin your studies. This English test is just for them to understand your level of English before they recommend you to specific courses or classes. Like um, in my school, we have like English, um, we have to mm. structured group. Like they're the people who have mm. like advanced level of English and the other people who have like a basic level of English. So we have different approach for these people based on their levels. Okay, amazing. And um, final question is, um people i mean admission is open mm -hmm. is it now or opens in a few weeks or when and admission is generally going to be open from october and above summer is still ongoing it all depends on the school again so you can start your application now if you want to leave next year um what i always tell people is that if you plan to travel like let's say in the next one year you should start planning at the beginning of the year you should start planning as soon as you have this push because when mm -hmm. for instance when it comes to the I am seeing messages about bank statement and all of that. You're supposed to structure your mm -hmm. bank statement in a way that you already know um, that you're going to need it in the next six months, in the next seven months, in the next eight months, depending on when you're traveling. So you can use this to show that you have proof of funds. Not last minute, you're running around, oh, I need a sponsor or I need a... Nobody wants that pressure. So try as much as possible to get all your documentation ready at least six months to a year before you move. All right, amazing. Um, look, thank you very, very much. Um, guys, I'm going to say again, if you want to do it on your own, go to Campus France website and just Google Campus France. You will see the universities you can apply on your own. You can also go to the universities um, that we've mentioned and just apply on your own. But if you want someone to help you, it's not going to be for free. They are not, <laughs> nobody's going to spend their time for free helping you get the admission. If you want someone to help you, just go and send a message to Instago Ed Travels, okay? Instago Ed Travels, and they'll be able to help you uh, on your way to France. Look, thank you very much for taking our time to right. join us, okay? Um, okay? I hope that people will send you messages if they need your help, but I hope so. I'm sure that those who want to do it on their own would have benefited from this, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Bye. Bye.